In this video, you're going to learn how to write the quadratic equation when you're given two complex zeros. We're going to be using this formula right here, and we're going to go through an example together, and at the end of the video, I'm going to show you why this formula works. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the sum of the zeros, and we're going to find the product of the complex zeros. So let's go ahead and do that. So if we're given these two zeros, let's go ahead and add them together. So 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 and uh, 3i plus negative 3i is 0. So the sum is going to be 4. So what we have here is x squared minus 4x, okay, plus the product. Now if we multiply these two together, let's see what we get. We get 2 times 2, which is 4. 2 times negative 3i is negative 6i. 3i times 2 is positive 6i. And 3i times negative 3i is negative 9i squared. We know that i squared is negative 1 times negative 9 gives us positive 9. The negative 6i and positive 6i cancel. 4 plus 9 is 13. So this represents the product of our zeros. And now we have our quadratic equation. So you can check this if you want to do the quadratic formula or if you want to complete the square. And you're going to get back these two originally original complex zeros. Now you might be saying, Mario, why does this formula work? x squared minus the sum of the zeros times x plus the product of the zeros equals zero. Well, we know that if you say, for example, your zeros are like a and b. So when you find the factors, you say x minus the zero is a factor. So x minus a times x minus b is equal to zero. And we know from the zero product property that if you set these factors to zero, you're going to get back, you know, a and b. So now if we go ahead and multiply this together, we get x times x is x squared. x times negative b is negative bx. Negative a times x is negative ax. Negative a times negative b is positive ab. Okay, and then notice that these two middle terms right here have an x in them. So what we're going to do is we're going to factor out a negative x. So if we factor out that negative x, we're going to get a positive a, and we're going to get a positive b. Okay, I'm going to bring down the x squared and the ab. And multiplication is commutative, so you can see I could change the order here. I could write this as x squared minus a plus b times x plus ab equals zero. And that's where our formula is coming from. You can see the sum of the complex zeros, that's a plus b. The product of the complex zeros, that's a times b. And that's how we're getting this shortcut formula. So great job if you're able to follow this a little video here. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to seeing you in my future videos.